Good afternoon. War, disaster, and disease have historically always been linked. Today, I will address how infectious disease affect children in complex humanitarian crises, focusing on Syria and Turkey. Humanitarian crises are often chronic or protracted and linked to violence or war rather than so-called natural disasters. Health effects are mostly due to dis disrupted services and infrastructure or stress from displacement rather than direct injuries. The recent earthquakes in war in Syria and Turkey have adversely impacted children's health. They face acute and chronic injuries, malnutrition, and mental health issues linked to the displacement and the separation. The lack of clean water, sanitation, and immunizations have also increased the risk of waterborne, vector-borne, and vaccine-preventable diseases and outbreaks. The disruption of education and social support systems further compounds the problem. To mitigate the health consequences of complex crises, we must rebuild healthcare and wash infrastructure. We must ensure access to essential supplies, adequate food, and address mental health needs. Providing vaccinations, disease preventive measures, and medical care is crucial to prevent massive outbreaks. Children can overcome adversity, but they need caretaker support, separation, harms mental health, and this lead to disease. We need to address research gaps to understand the crisis impact on the epidemiology affecting children's health. We must prioritize healthcare infrastructure and supply and change reconstruction and shift the focus to disaster preparedness in areas of great vulnerability and risk of humanitarian crisis or disasters instead of acute short-term interventions. As we move forward, let us not forget that the most virulent pathogen in the world is indifference. Thank you very much.